Wearables, wearables, and more wearables. No, I can't do that intro anymore. But I had a great intro. Let me do the intro. I don't care if you don't use it, but at least let me do okay. it because it's a good intro. Okay. Wearables partying. Oh, and uh, cockroaches and Doritos too. What a show. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat. Before we get into it, John P. and I are going to New York tomorrow. Why, you ask? Well, to party, of course. Adorama is having a secret Black Wednesday sale. They're staying up late. Why can't I say that? They are staying open late until 10 p.m. that day, and there will be hundreds of items on secret sale. I'm thinking about blindfolding John so we don't go broke. In addition to the sale, they're teaming up with Canon for a Capturing the Action event at the Altman Building in New York City. You'll be able to get your hands on Canon's new 7D Mark II DSLR. Always fun to play with new toys, isn't it? And Sports Illustrated photographer David Bergman and New York Giants legend Lawrence Taylor will be there, plus raffles and giveaways and food and an open bar. It's big enough to get us to leave the Geek House and fly to New York for just an evening. It's going to be awesome. So keep an eye on John's and my Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus posts to join in on the fun. And if you are in New York, be sure to join us in person. Links below. All right, let's talk wearables. Come CES in January, I'm expecting to see tons of wearables. Don't worry, we'll be keeping you up to date on the best of the best from the show floor with our CES Live coverage every day of the show. You'll want to be watching for sure. But Withings didn't want to wait till CES to launch their new wearable. If you don't recognize their name, they've been doing fitness trackers and scales and baby products and all kinds of things over the years to keep you healthy. And now they put the Activeat on pre-order. It's a beautifully designed Swiss-made fitness tracker in the form of a watch with a real leather band. It uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone and automatically update the time according to which time zone you're in. When your phone flips over, so will your watch. It'll track your steps, how far you've walked, how many calories you've burned, how good your sleep is. It'll serve as your alarm clock. It'll automatically detect when you're running and starting to track your runs automatically. It's water resistant and will be able to track your laps when swimming. Now, it's not a smart watch. There isn't a display to show you your incoming calls and text messages. There are no apps. But if you're a watchman and love good design and hate the idea of a boring looking fitness tracker, the $450 price tag might just be worth it. Yeah. For only $99 and $10 a month, you could get your kid a smartwatch. Now come on, before you heckle at the idea, just stay with me. There are absolutely times when it's necessary for parents to give their kids this kind of technology. Special needs kids could benefit from it. Kids who have no sense of danger when it comes to being friendly to strangers, like my nephew Loki. Single parents who work multiple jobs and can't be around their kids 24-7. The Philip 2 is available on the AT&T network. There's one button for emergencies. If they're in danger, they just press and hold it and it'll trigger a location beacon and call an emergency number preset by you. So it could be your cell. And it'll keep calling contacts until it reaches somebody. Now, the kid won't be able to just call anyone and talk for hours. Not that really young kids do that anyway, but you can set five numbers that they can call and get calls from. You'll always know where your kid is with the built-in GPS. A geofence can be set up so if the kid leaves the safe area, it'll let you know. On the flip side of fashion, let's talk mirrors. Compact mirrors to be exact. You guys know we love hyper products. Daniel just launched a Kickstarter project for the Pearl. It's a compact mirror that also serves as a portable battery pack. It's 3000 milliamps to charge your phone or a portable speaker. A great gift for your mother, sister, or loved one. They're $25 each or $69 for three and come in three different colors, red, silver, and gold. And when he says he'll be delivering in time for Christmas, I believe him because he has a history of delivering. A lot of Kickstarter projects don't deliver on time, if at all, because there is a lot more going into creating a product and managing a business than people realize. But lynda.com can help you get ahead of the game with business courses. You can learn when you want, where you want, and what you want if you're not into running a business, which I don't blame you. You can learn to code or 3D animation or video editing. Check out all what you can get and dive in at lynda.com slash geekbeat. That'll give you seven days for free. Speaking of free, it's free stuff time! Woo! Woo! <laughs> 
the last week, we've been giving away five pairs of Damson Jet Bluetooth speakers. There was a ton of response to it. You guys love these things. I mean, how can you not? You stick it to any surface and make that wall or mirror or whatever a speaker. That contest has ended, but Damson didn't want to disappoint you all, so they said, you know what? Why not? Let's give five more pairs away. And it's open to everyone in the world, not just the US. So go to gibby.tv slash giveaways for all the details. Congrats to the first five winner, Greg Hoxinus, Maximilian Fornicon, Thomas Braun, T. Jiang, and Terry Story. Hopefully I said all your names right. Sorry. <laughs> if you're feeling the need to celebrate a little because you want a speaker, Woo! I have the perfect drink for you. You didn't win a speaker, Jack. No, he's drinking already oh. though. <laughs> but I do have a drink for you regardless. It's not alcoholic, so you can have as much as you want. Are you ready? That, that was you, Jack. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Think Doritos. Okay. Think Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now put them together. Doritos flavored Mountain Dew. What do you say, guys? Lay it on me. Yeah. Pepsi admitted to testing out the product on some college students because, well, they'll try anything. If they actually ever do release and you actually try it, just rest assured that even if you keel over in the middle of nowhere, you can always be rescued by cockroaches. Well, okay, you have to be alive, but surely Pepsi won't actually kill you. Anyway, so last year, I think I told you about some experiments on cockroaches to tie into their brains and control them. I know, where's PETA when you need them, right? Well, now these researchers at North Carolina State University have a purpose for it. They attached a circuit board to the cockroach and connected it to the bug's brain. They can send a signal to the roach to turn left or to turn right. The idea is that they could have the roaches roam around a disaster zone and search the rubble for survivors. Some roaches would be what they call sensors. They'd listen for noise and direct the others, the drones, to come and then they call home essentially to tell humans where to come and do the digging and rescuing. So what do you think about the possibility of being saved by a cockroach? Leave a comment below or join in on social at TV. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. Bye. A little bit for us. No. Oh, so nice. see. Wait, you, you, point cloud. What exactly yeah. does point cloud mean? And, and you, you scanned, scanned the decals everything. inside and out. Now that surprised me actually yeah, because I thought yeah, yeah, exactly. It gives you those really great, beautiful Michael Bay cinematic shots.